So I'm pretty excited. I just received my easel from the States. I ordered a Ala Prima Pochade box because I'm going to be going on a hella skiing, not hella skiing, hella painting trip. So um, I'll just open it and show it a bit. Piggyback for the 9 by 12 canvases. That looks good. Good. Little brochure. And here's the box. Ooh, nice. You can still smell the varnish or the stain. Beautiful. So, when in doubt, read the instructions. I took a look to figure out how to do this because when I looked at the box it looked like it was completely sealed shut <laughs> but it wasn't. So basically you start off by pulling this little bee ring, a little tippy because of the um, tripod mount on the bottom and look it's not empty and then you just open. It's a little bit of resistance because the hinges are quite strong on the back. It opens it up like this. So there we go. Now, this is how the canvases attach. It's like a spring hinge, but I'll show you that later. Um, so there's that. Now, on the side is a drawer. Pull it out, it kind of stops there. And I have to pull it a little further there. That's where it stops for you. Because this nifty little extra piece is an extra palette and brush holder. So you've got all these little holes to hold the brushes, different sizes. And these clips go on the side, just fit over the edge of the box, and you've got extra space for mixing and to put your brushes, which is awesome. So over here, we've got a couple more videos in the drawer. And here are um, sun clips, which are, I'll have to figure out how to do that and come back, but it basically attaches a board on the top here to, keep, to shade your mixing surface. So I'll just put those there. In the drawer too is a nice little container for uh, probably, for, in my case, I'll put walnut oil, but I guess if you use solvents, you could put solvents in there. That's cool. So in the drawer, you can put your paints or you can put some brushes. If you put normal oil painting brushes, you'll probably need to saw the ends off. I'm not sure if I want to do that with my brushes, so I may carry them separately. But um, if you take a look, I've put some paint in one section and a palette knife and a shorter brush here. But you can also remove this divider. And then some of the, sh the, the shorter brushes can go in on a diagonal, so that's an option as well. Locks there, magnet caught it, and then the screw that locks there as well. So two spots. So these are the sun clips, and the purpose of these is to give you a way of shading your palette uh, when you're painting. It's got little magnets on the bottom, and they just go, ow, pinched. <laughs> then you take your uh, board. This is a eight by ten, and just slide it in there. And it holds it. So I'm going to show you how to put one of the panels into the easel to paint. Basically just rest it on the bottom support, pull up the top support, it's got a spring, quite a strong spring to hold it, and there you go. I guess I should center it. Or you can um, put it this way. It works with anything from a 6x8 to a 9x12 in either direction. Uh, I'm going to show you how to Put the panels in the box. Basically this is a six by eight and right now the divider rail is um, six inches so you basically just slide it in. It just slides in like this, they go in back to back and there you go. I've got in here one eight by ten and one six by eight. This divider rail pulls out. You can carry up to four if they're three sixteenths inch thick or two if they're quarter inch thick. Um, 
I like to use 5x7s quite often, so I had uh, Ben put in a, an extra rail for a small charge um, at 5 inches, so I can put my 5x7s in. Um, it goes to, there's also one at, for me, 5 inches and 6 inches. Standard, it would be 6 inches and 9 inches. So it just slides in. So I have my 5x7 in the box, and it's a little bit deep in there. So I can still reach it to pull it out. I'm going to get paint on my fingers if I do. But another way to pull it out is just to pull the rail. So then you can get a hold of your, your panel and lift it out quite nicely. So I'm going to close up my box now and show you how the piggyback works. This guy is a genius. The design is awesome. I'm just going to close the box. Just push it down. And we're going to pretend, I wish I had some 9x12 or 10x12 canvases to show, but basically they'd be slid in here and sticking out, like so. So the canvases wouldn't be, uh, you know, normally you wouldn't be able to carry them in here. They'd slide out and you, you're like, well, where am I going to put my wet painting to bring it back if you're using a larger size? So it's so cool. Um, I'm just going to show you how this works. This has also magnets. Looks like this basically just slides over like that, boom. And then the drawer shuts and magnets hold it shut as well. And then just to secure it and hold it together because it's kind of coming apart a little bit here, there's this strap that goes all the way around. It's got Velcro, put it through the ring, snug it up, attach it, et voila. It's not that heavy. I'd say the whole setup might be five pounds, I think maybe less than five pounds. And you can put that in your backpack along with uh, a tripod and you're all set. So if you want to check out this box uh, online, uh, Ben Haggett has uh, some really great demos of all his different boxes. He has different sizes and different styles depending on what your needs are, so you choose what you want. Um, I do have some other uh, sites my main site for portraiture is laurelmcbride.blogspot.com. I also have a site for my other type of paintings, which is mcbridepainting.blogspot.com. And for information for artists, thinkingaboutpainting.blogspot.com. It's a really great site where I put information that's of interest to other artists, um, information about palettes, about paint, about other uh, artists. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just press on the button up here and I'm going to be doing lots of other great uh, videos that will be helpful. So looking forward to seeing you and your comments on my blogs and hopefully we'll connect again soon. Bye for now.